Hi everyone. Uh, I would like to present my poster entitled Adapted Relict Oaks for Climate Resilient Forests. Um, relict oaks uh, in, in Central Europe, especially on dry and unproductive sites, show uh, often poor growth characteristics, and this is undesirable for forestry. However, they are probably autochthonous, have long-term habitat continuity, and uh, also uh, have adapted to regular water shortage over many generations. So this makes them uh, probably valuable genetic resources for adaptation to future climates. So uh, with this project, our aim is to investigate adaptive genomic signatures in relic oaks in southern Germany and Assas uh, in order to assess reproductive material use for climate resilient forests. So now I'd like to give a very, very first preliminary results. Um, so uh, our pilot project showed and indicated some uh, beetle fauna, uh, which is very uh, important uh, to uh, show the relictness and habitat continuity. So this is a good result for our study. And, um, uh, and the second one is uh, the very pre preliminary results on stress physiology also showed a differential accumulation of uh, certain antioxidant, antioxidants uh, uh, in, this, in the progenies growing on um, uh, dry and humid sites. Uh, also, 29 populations uh, out of 60 populations in total, we have genotyped with seven nuclear microsatellites right now, and uh, we were we used them to assign uh, individuals uh, to their species. So uh, the species uh, assignment results will be used to select Quercus petrea, which is the focal species of our uh, study. Uh, to, to select uh, certain individuals from each population for the pool sec uh, in, in the future. In fact, allele frequency validation of the DNA pools are continuing at the moment, and uh, hopefully in the future I will give you more results about those. Okay, so we have also uh, screened uh, 13 populations uh, you could see in the middle middle photos the, the photos in the figures in the middle uh, uh, with seven uh, nine uh, chloroplast uh, ssrs and this uh, these results also show similarity with the previous uh, studies on the left you can see the figure uh, conducted in the same region so uh, this is also a very preliminary result, but we could see the similarity in terms of haplotype diversity, which is low within, uh, within stands, but uh, high uh, among uh, populations as uh, expected and showed before. And this is uh, our poster, and uh, I would like to uh, I would like to point out that I would be very happy to uh, answer your questions and thank you uh, all for your attention. Thank you.